Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Friday for Lychee Friday. I'm Amy for Lychee and once again, we are back. I'm doing this two weeks in a row. You guys, what is going on? Oh my goodness. So we have some fun, fun, fun stuff to play with today. Like we are going to be featuring, hi Carla, welcome, welcome. Are we drowning here in Michigan? Oh my goodness. This well, the sun, I was, we, um, I was talking the other day with a friend and like, I think we saw the sun last Saturday was like the last time. And ever since then, it's been rainy and foggy, snowy, crazy, crazy, crazy. So yeah, we're all drowning here in Michigan, I think. Um, yeah, even my basement is wet. Oh gosh, it happens. It's like a Michigan wet basement, but not usually in January. It's usually like April and May. So anyway, but back to fun, right? Forget about all the like wet ick, right? Because we're going to have fun in the craft room today. We are playing with this is the perennial postage stamp set and then an awesome set of dies the perennial postage dies so stamp set sentiments only in this stamp set like here for you always and i love the mixed fonts this is one of my favorite things that stampin up does so we've got two different fonts in one sentiment uh let's see i'm just going to run right down the list we've got thank you for your friendship you are loved beyond measure you're simply marvelous i can't thank you enough big hugs I know you will get through this. Sending love and best wishes. Happy Mother's Day. And you mean the world to me. So awesome sentiment stamp set. And then the perennial postage, right? Let me make sure. Yes, perennial postage dies. And I'm just realizing, ooh, my glasses are way over there. When I flip the camera down, I'm going to have to go grab those. Um, but look at, so check out all of, they're like postage stamp dies, right? We have, am I going to be able to read that? I'm going to say it says 10, but I'll confirm that. Well, let's see. I could probably count them, right? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Maybe it's 12. I think it's 12 dies. There we go. So 12 postage dies, right? And then I paired this fun bundle with the softly stippled designer series paper. So let me get this fanned out here for you guys so you can see. So there's one side. This is Lisa. Hi, welcome. How are you? Oh my goodness. I haven't seen your name pop up in a long time. I hope you're doing well. So yes, this is the beautiful, this is the softly stippled designer series paper. You can get this for free from Stampin' Up! during celebration. You actually, so these are cut into six by 12 pieces because I pulled this out of the paper share um, so that I could show you good um, images because I have well, pieces, I guess I should say good pieces. Hi, Diana. Welcome, welcome. My paper pack is kind of a whole like hot mess. So I thought this was better to show you guys, but beautiful paper, right? Again, you can get this pack of paper for free during celebration from Stampin' Up! with a $50 order now through February 29th, as long as supplies last. And this has been a popular one for sure. Hello, Linda. <laughs> good morning to you too. So yeah, so keep that in mind. All of the celebration items, are available while supplies last. So nothing is sold out at this point, but you never know. It's definitely happened in the past. Um, so don't wait. If there's something that you're interested in, like for example, the softly stippled designer series paper, go ahead and put your order in and make sure you get it while you can. And hello, Miss Nikki. All right, so let's see. What else do we have going on? I gotta check my notes. I was actually, um, <clears throat> so we're doing Girls Craft O Rama this weekend. I've got friends coming up um, from like Flint and Detroit area um, to come craft with me this weekend. So our Girls Craft O Rama, it's my friend Stacy, Melissa, and Jennifer are all um, coming up this evening. Um, so I've been like running around trying to get my house, you know, get all the sheets washed, beds made, um, even did a little touch up painting around the place. Um, so yeah, I've been running around doing all that stuff, like even this morning and the last couple of days. So. Um, I gotta get my head focused in Facebook Live, right? Um, because I'm definitely very excited about the weekend. And what was so funny um was Melissa, you know, we're kind of texting back and forth about what do we need, and we always have a lot of snacks. There's a lot of eating that happens in this girl's crafting craft orama weekend. And so she made the comment, she's like, it's snack o rama too. It's craft o rama and it's snack o rama. I'm like, yes, yes, it is. So very excited about that. I had to get a really good intense workout in this morning to kind of like negate some of the like bad choices that will be made for the next uh, couple of days. So anyway, but yes, I'm like, I'm all excited about that. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna still have lots of fun today here too. I'm super excited to share with you again that perennial postage bundle and the softly stippled designer series paper. We'll be playing with those in just a 
little while, right? So in the meantime, don't forget, celebration is in full swing. Again, um, where's my little brochure here? I have so much stuff out on the table here. Um, yeah, so celebration, get a free item with every $50 or $100 order. So make sure, and again, if you don't have one of these catalogs, either this catalog or the spring mini catalog, this beautiful, love that. I actually just got this little bundle um, in my last order. So I'm excited. I'm going to be able to play with that hopefully very soon and share some fun projects with you um, featuring that bundle, which I swirled, maybe a swirly, softly swirled. I'm not even sure. Anyway, but again, if you need these catalogs, please let me know. I would be happy to get them sent out to you, okay? Um, and don't forget, like I mentioned um, before, we've got that sweet spot during celebration where, and this is a big, this is like a Mac Daddy, right? If you were to put together maybe a couple, you know, friends, and sorry, I had to take my slippers off. I'm like, oh, I'm too hot. I don't know. You know, 53, I'm starting to like, okay, maybe I'm kind of doing the hot flash thing. <laughs> Not totally sure. Definitely like trying to like deny that. Hello, Charlene. Welcome, welcome. So anyway, yeah, I'm just like, oh, I need to like take my slippers off. Um, sorry, you guys are getting way more information than you probably need today, don't, aren't you? Um, so what was I talking about? <laughs> I'm like totally lost my... Oh yeah, I guess maybe it was the big sweet spot during celebration, right? So make sure you know this. If you, um, especially if you're a demonstrator, because we need $300 in orders each quarter to keep our demonstrator status active. So it's a great time to put that big, like Mac Daddy $300 order in because you get extra host benefits for a $300 order. Either that, or maybe you don't want to order um, entirely $300, but maybe you find some friends and family that want to put orders in. But when you put one, full order in that totals $300, you get extra host benefits. Normally you would get $36, which is 12% of $300 if you put like literally a $300 order in. Stampin' Up! is throwing in an additional $30 in free host benefits during celebration. They did this a few years ago, and the last couple of years, they have I think they've added like a, a stamp set that you could get for free um, with your kind of anything over $300 order, um, but they've gone back to the free product, which I absolutely love, because then you can get whatever you want, not just a designated stamp set, right? So again, a $300 order gets you in total $66 in free product and six free celebration items because you get one for every $50 um, increment and in product that you buy. So that's my kind of tip and reminder that sweet spot during celebration, right? Uh, so let's see. Oh, and then also starter kit deal. I think you guys are all, well, hopefully, hopefully you haven't been living under a rock, right? And know that if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, now is the time to do it. I've been showing and featuring the Stampin' Glass Matte Studio on Facebook Live and on my videos. Very excited about that. You can get that for free with your starter kit along with $125 in product, pay only $99 plus sales tax, or if you don't need the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio, you can pick an additional $30 in free products. So you pick $155 in product and you pay only $99 plus sales tax. Plus, for me, the best part is, and again, this would even apply like back when I was talking about that sweet spot, you get a 20% discount on everything you order. So you put a $300 in product order in, you get that $66 in free stuff, you get those six free celebration items, and you get your 20% discount on top of that. So it's not even a $300 order. So think about that. That's the reason to get the starter kit right there. Get that awesome starter kit deal. Put that Big Mac Daddy sweet spot order in. Just do it once and you're all set. You don't have to order anything else until the third quarter of the year. We're only in January, right? Wait, is that right? Yeah, because this is partial quarter. So yeah, you need $300 in sales by June 30th. So yeah, you've got through the middle of the year and then you can... Um, put an additional $300 in orders in for third quarter and fourth quarter, and you just kind of keep your demonstrator status up. The thing to know is if you ever don't put $300 in orders in and keep your demonstrator status up, that's okay. Nothing bad happens. You just, your demonstrator ID drops, but no other catastrophic, awful things happens. It's just that you're not considered a demonstrator and you can't get that discount anymore, but that's it. Um, but I don't know why would you ever want to let that happen, right? Because 
I don't know, it's pretty easy to, in a, in a quarter, in three months, <laughs> get $300 in product, right? Um, and then you also become an Inkspired Stamper, become a part of our awesome team, our awesome group. Um, got lots of um, great ladies that are a part of our group and uh, would love for you to be a part of that as well. So I will include, I've been including and emailing, posting on my blog, um, the link to, you know, get more information about becoming an Inkspired Stamper and all of those great benefits. If you have any questions though, please let me know, okay? Um, okay, I think we're gonna do our first drawing. And <clears throat> I don't know if I've shared this graphic yet or not. I'm trying to um, create some more fun graphics. So, and I printed it because I have a new color printer, courtesy of Miss Julie Wilmot. She sent me a link, uh, I don't know, a few months ago about the color printer that she has and how much she loves it. And I finally bit the bullet and I got this, I bought this printer for myself. So I've been printing in color and I'm so darn excited about it. So this is a graphic that I created that you'll see posted right here on our Facebook group that basically tells you all the ways you get your name in the drawing, okay? So we are drawing today for the adhesive backed hearts and flowers, those super cute little embellishments, right? So here are all the ways you got your name in the drawing right here in this fun little Stampin' Up! basket. So if you shared our last Facebook Live video, you get one entry. If you share it to a crafting group you're a part of, you get five entries in there. If you share my latest class to go kit post, you get one entry. If you comment on a Stamp Studio Facebook group post, I pick one random post each Facebook Live and any comments on that random post are in here as well. And then also, if you share a picture of a project that you've made, if you share six projects, pictures, you're gonna get your name in here six times. And then finally, if you sign up for my email list, which the link is always above this Facebook Live video. So lots of entries in here. I love, it's funny, like I love when I have lots and lots of pieces of paper in here with lots and lots of names. I was um, kind of watching back at um, some older videos and I'm like, man, it sounded like that thing was full sometimes. So I'm like, I wanna get back to that. So I'm trying to come up with more ways for you guys to have some fun, comment and share and post your projects and get your name in the drawing for some cute stuff, right? Okay, so one lucky winner, it go, oops, I had two in my hand, shoot, sorry. Okay, I gotta flip those around. So I'm like, oh, I can't, I can't like pick one and not the other, right? So, okay, so we're gonna start that again. I'm gonna make sure I only have one in my hand before I pull my hand out. <laughs> And it goes to, Vina was one of the names. She is, Vina, you are one of the luckiest gals I know. Miss Vina Gomez, congratulations. She won last Friday's Facebook Live drawing and she won this one as well. And her name is not the only name in here. I will say though, she has done a great job of commenting and sharing and posting projects that she's made. So I'm not surprised either because her name is in here a bunch of times. So thank you, Vina, for all your comments and shares and posts of projects that you've made. So I will get these cute little hearts and flowers sent out to you. And congratulations. All right, I'm gonna actually go right over here. I'm gonna dump these, gotta get rid of those names, putting those in the trash. And what else? Oh, while I'm over here, I'm just gonna grab my glasses too. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is going to be two weeks from today. So <clears throat> let me think about this. Yeah, because we're at the end of January, right? Yeah, so Carla, thank you for the share. And I think Linda, you shared also. Yeah, <laughs> that's cute. Linda's keeping up on things too. She says, Vina is lucky and she does post some great cards. Yes, she does. So yeah, why not, right? If you don't have anything else to do in this, as we're floating away, right, in Michigan, in wet, cold Michigan, <laughs> you might as well stay inside and make some beautiful things, right? Um, okay, so yeah, I was talking about, let's see, Next Facebook Live is two weeks from today, so that would put it at first, second, that would be February 9th, right? Yeah, we're going to have our next Facebook Live two weeks from today on February 9th. I am out of town next weekend is why I'm not doing Facebook Live. I'm actually going to be down in the Detroit area. Uh, Mike and I are going to see a Dancing with the Stars performance, a show at the Fox Theater. Um, that is like Thursday, February 1st, and then I'm going to be down in his neck of the woods for the weekend. But what I was thinking, and I'm, I'm going to say I'm like 90% sure I'm going to do this, Thought it might be fun, um, kind of on a random Friday, maybe when I'm out of town, but I can bring my stuff to actually still 
kind of do my live, I think I'm gonna put a paper pumpkin kit together because I got in the mail just this week, this is the lovely lavender. So the lovely lavender, our January paper pumpkin kit, and it looks so cute. And so I thought, you know what? Because I do suffer from red box pileup. I'm going to admit it to you. Um, and so I thought this would be a great way if, so that way, um, like if I'm out of town and I can't bring all my stuff, or maybe I don't have time to prepare for a Facebook Live, but I can just grab my box and grab some adhesive and we can put these babies together. So if you happen to get the January paper pumpkin, again, it's the lovely lavender paper pumpkin kit. We're going to put them together next Friday. So 11.30 a.m. next Friday. We're not going to do like a full Facebook Live. We're just going to put our paper pumpkin kits together. And you'll see me in all my probably not so glory with how I might <laughs> struggle to put one. I want. I don't want to say struggle, but you know, I like to read the directions. I like to make sure I have everything all in order. So yeah, that'll be fun. And then you guys can see paper pumpkin kits too. Um, so that's something I'm thinking. I'm going to try to do as many months as I can because you know, you get them every month. And so they kind of tend to just pile up so be a fun way to show you guys paper pumpkin so we're gonna try that literally that was an idea I had it in the shower this morning so <laughs> we'll see I maybe I haven't thought it through enough but we're, we'll try it this month and we'll see how it goes right so yeah so I guess it'll be the very beginning of February we're gonna put our January paper pumpkin kit together but if you have yours grab it and come hang out with me next Friday at 11 30 and we'll put our kits together all right so I gotta make sure I'm gonna set that like right in the middle of my floor to remind me to like when I pack next week bring that with you because that would be a big bummer right if I like told you I'm gonna well I guess I said I'm 90% sure right so I'll post I'll let you know for sure but I think I think we're gonna try to do that and we'll see how it goes it may be like an epic fail and I may do it once and be so embarrassed I'll never want to do it again but hope I don't think so so we'll see anyway so yeah but join me if you can okay all right, so yeah, so on our next Facebook Live, which I guess that was a segue, right? Two weeks from today, we are going to give away, <clears throat> these are the iridescent foil gems. So if you can see, they're kind of like a champagne colored dot, really. So they're all, it's funny how these seem to be darker. I think it's just kind of the lighting right now. Yeah, so they're, I guess these are bigger ones and those are smaller ones, but beautiful little gems. Again, the iridescent foil gems is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. And watch for the graphic too that tells you how you get your name in the drawing. Share the Facebook Live video to just share it regularly, one entry to a crafting group, five entries. Uh, share my class to go kit post one entry. Post a picture of a project that you've made. I have no idea if these are in order, um, but you get one entry. Um, I'm gonna pick one random post that I have made on Facebook or on our Facebook group. If you comment, any comments on that random post that I pick are gonna go in the drawing. And then if you sign up for my email list, you get your name in the drawing to win again the cute little iridescent foil gems. All right, good, we got that taken care of. Uh, let's see, you know, the usual attempt at organization. Okay, I think, oh, so the other thing, I have been working on uh, my Stampin' Up, um, well, my Stampin' Up website, I guess I should say. And what's funny, and I kind of struggle with, so way back when I first got the starter kit, I named my website. So it's Amy Suzanne, which is S-U-Z-A-N-N-E dot stampin' up dot net. So um, I use my first and my middle name. So Amy Suzanne dot stampin' up dot net. That's how you can get to my Stampin' Up website. And like I said, I've been trying to kind of um, amp it up a little bit because um, we went through a whole change with Stampin' Up and the website and kind of how things are all set up. Um, and so I've just been kind of going in and tweaking things. And one of the things that you can do is write a review. And I have literally, I have one review on there right now. And so I thought, you know what? I want to encourage you guys. I would love to get more reviews on there. I think that's a great way for people to kind of share what they've learned, um, what they think of the Facebook Lives or the projects or, you know, whatever it might be, whatever you want to comment on. I would love to get your comments and reviews 
on my website. Again, so that's Amy Suzanne, A M Y S U Z A N N E dot stampin' up dot net. Um, I would love to get your review comments on there. So basically, if you go to that, amysuzanne.stampinup.net, just scroll down to the bottom and you'll see a section for reviews and there's a little button that says write a review and you just click on that and type your review in. And so I thought I'm going to kind of do a little like incentive because I love to give product away, right? And cute stuff, maybe some cards. Um, so I am going to pick a couple of uh, reviews that people like I'll put everybody's name in the in the little drawing like I normally do and I'm going to give a couple of fun products um, and maybe some cards away um, basically do a couple of giveaways to say thank you for writing those reviews so we'll keep that going now through the end of February so if you hop onto my uh, website again amysuzanne.stampinup.net write a review for me which I would truly appreciate um, and your name will go in a drawing at the end of February um, to win some fun stuff basically so um, yeah that would be awesome if you guys would help me out with that I think um, it's just kind of fun maybe new people that are looking for a demonstrator um, I think you know that's a great way for them to kind of you know, hear what you guys think and what you're seeing, what you what what you have fun with um, through me and our Stampin' Up uh, journey that we are taking together, right? Okay, um, let's see. Oh, okay, so now I want to show. So this is so fun. So this is a card from, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Sandra Johnson. All of a sudden, I'm like, why am I like blanking out on her name? Yeah, it's Sandra. <laughs> Isn't that, so Sandra is, Sandra is the creator of, Frilici Friday. So way back when, um, probably, I don't know how many years ago when Sandra was a regular watcher, she kind of dubbed this Frilici Friday in one of our kind of texts or, you know, one of our conversations or something. And I thought, that's so cute. I love that. So she's the one that literally dubbed this Frilici Friday. So Miss Sandra out in state of Washington sent me this beautiful card, this cheers card. And I wanted to share this with you guys also. So I don't know if you remember this is um, some of our designer series paper, beautiful kind of foil paper, and then this beautiful cheers, right, with some little speckledy paper on there, and um, she says, cheers to a new year, and basically she just says, happy new year, my friend, thank you for the shout out a few months ago, probably when I mentioned last time that she dubbed this, um, that that was very sweet, and I am so happy to, that you're still doing Frilici's Fridays, right, God bless you in the coming new year, all the best, love, Sandra XOXO, so thank you, Sandra, that was very sweet, I love receiving your cards, and I love sharing them with you guys on here too, so if you're ever inclined, I'll give you my address, it's 501 Woodworth, it's all one word, W-O-O-D, -D w o r t h avenue and that's in alma a l m a michigan 48801 so yeah i love to receive your cards and i love to share them on our facebook live um yeah in addition to maybe um share why don't you go ahead and share right on our facebook group also right then you get an entry in that other drawing okay um so quick reminder we have bingo coming up on when, what is the date? Thursday, February 22nd. It's just $30 to come play bingo, win some awesome Stampin' Up! product if you get a bingo, and then we do card making as well. So stamping and bingo. What could be better than that, right? Again, it is on Thursday, February 22nd, and RSVP and payments for that live event right here at Alma are due by February 12th. So coming up, we got a few weeks, so be thinking about that and let me know if you're interested, all right? And then also, we have designer series paper share. So I wanted to share this one. This is my friend Stacy's who's coming to craft Orama. So I thought, what a great idea. I'm going to show you guys this paper share. So I do actually have two more paper shares left, but this is a full, actually, let me put this paper because I pulled out that celebration paper to show you guys earlier. But here, this, look at all of this paper for $43. Can you see? This is a paper share. I don't know. Well, maybe if I go this way, will it, will it angle a little bit better? You guys can kind of see the insides of all, like, look at all of that paper you got for just $43. It's 13 packs of paper, right? We have eight packs of paper in the spring mini catalog and five celebration 
papers as well. So for $43, you can get one of these paper shares. I have two paper shares left. Um, I haven't even cut them yet because I figured if I don't sell them, I'm keeping the paper and I don't need it cut in six by 12 paper. So, but if you're interested, I have two left. I would love to cut this up for you and send it out to you. So let me know. You can comment right on here if you are interested. Um, yeah, so two left, all right? First two comments, first two people to get a hold of me, get the paper shares, all right? And so Stacy, I'm keeping this safe for you too. It'll be right on your crafting table when you get here this afternoon. Okay, um, I think we're good. Are we ready to, let's see. I think I have so many notes here as usual, right? But yeah, let's, oh, well, I know. We gotta do our other drawing, right? Okay, so <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, 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 that's where we're at. All right, I'm just like throwing everything on the floor here. Okay, so yes, next drawing. So if, so, 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 right. If you ordered online through me, you are going to get both of the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So these two beautiful Valentine's Day cards right here as a thank you from me for your order. Um, you also get to pick from the free embellishment, which are the purple fine shimmer gems, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which this is my project right here. Um, we'll do a quick flip because I printed it in color and I'm so very proud of this. Um, but so here's a, a quick little flip through. This is the PDF tutorial you can get for free, right? So again, you get to pick either the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment. You also get the cards that I demonstrated and your name right now is in the drawing to win this Meandering Meadows, the beautiful designer series paper. Now I will tell you, I already opened it because I showed it on Facebook Live last week. I'm not gonna pull it out now, but just so you know, it's all in there, I promise, and it, but it's open. So um, we'll, I'll make sure it ships well, you know, preserves well to you um, so that there's no problem. But I just didn't want you to wonder, why is it open? Um, so, okay, yeah, here we go. One lucky winner. Hi, Miss Nancy. <laughs> You're so funny. Looking good this morning. You're looking good too, Nance. It's great to have you on here. I'm glad to see your name popping up. All right, so here we go. Let's see. One lucky winner. It goes to Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the winner of the Meandering Meadows Designer Series paper. So thank you for your order, Miss Kathy. And the couple of other, again, it's not, there aren't too many orders in here. So your odds are really good, you guys, as always. So with that being said, on our next Facebook Live, which is again two weeks from today, love this stamp set. We're gonna give away, this is the Heartfelt Hexagon Stamp Set. So there's a hexagon punch in that shape right there, and then that's a little bit more faint one. Um, but the Hexagon Punch is available also. This is what we're gonna give away if you order online through me using the host code. It's on my blog. When I flip the camera down, I'll show you that also. But this is one that I used a couple of weeks ago on Facebook Live, um, did some cute cards with it. So we've got, so we've got Mr. and Mrs. right here. I hope your day is filled with joy. That's that one right there. Let's eat cake is this one. Sending you lots of love and hugs is that one right there. Um, just, oh, I love, I love that teeny tiny little flower. I love to use those little flowers. Um, just wherever you need a little something, put that little flower. And then um, we've got with sincere sympathy and then a for you. So beautiful, awesome stamp set. We'll give this away on our next Facebook Live again, two weeks from today. Okay. There we go. All right, I think we are good. Now, I think we can flip the camera down. Yeah, I'm just trying to do a quick double check and make sure, but I I think we have everything. Yeah, okay, so trying to like clean up a little bit too while we're, <laughs> <'cause> I, <laughs> but lots of, so all these little things that occurred to me because I can't keep anything in my brain for very long. Hello, Miss My or Miss, not Miss, Mr. Mike, how are you? <laughs> Hope you're having a good day down in New Baltimore. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, I think we're gonna flip the camera down now. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, because I think I'm pretty well. I'm pretty well cleaned up. I have my host code printed. So, all right, turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. We're gonna flip the camera down, and we will do some stamping. Okay, let's see here. All right, there we go. So what I want to do is. I'm trying to make sure 
that, yeah, so these are the corners. Yep, so can you see? Maybe you can't see my fingers yet, right? I'm trying to make sure. I want you guys to be able to see the corners. There we go. Okay, and so here's our host code for, this is gonna be the February host code. I'm starting it today, though, basically. Um, since I'm gonna be gone next week, I didn't wanna wait until um, like February 9th to show the February host code. So we're gonna use this host code, the 9VKPP RDT is what you'll want to use if you order online through me to get your name in the drawing to win that heartfelt hexagon stamp set that has already gotten like tucked away. There it is. Yeah, this stamp set right here. Okay, so <clears throat> I got to get my chamois out. I've been keeping it, just so you guys know, that's what's making all this noise. I've been keeping it in the little package that came that everything came in the Stampin' Glass Mat Studio accessories because um, it, it keeps it kind of wet. So since I don't have a, actually it's funny, there's one like kind of dry, I'm like, what is that? I thought it was like a, um, like a logo or something, but it's this one little circle area that's dry, but everything else is still really wet. So we'll be able to clean nicely, but I've been keeping it in here just to keep it damp because it definitely dries out um, as evidence. You guys, well, maybe you can kind of see that circle. It's kind of funny how that is like a little circle that dried out there, but anyway. Okay, so yeah, I think we're good. Let's scoot that out of the way too. All right, let's do right? Oh, I know what. I'm like, I knew there was something else I wanted to show you guys. I want to show you the swaps. So let me start off, first of all, by saying this was, um, <laughs> so uh, Mike, who popped on just a couple minutes ago, um, he was helping me um, create these swaps. It's been a couple of weeks now. I think it was the very end of December that I had to have these in. Um, but he was the one that was helping me put the dimensionals on. So this was the swap card that I was working on because I realized I took a picture of him being like super precise in his dimensional work, um, but I didn't actually share a picture of the project that we were making. So this is what I love to swap, you guys. Hi, Philomena. Welcome, welcome. So, yes, yeah, so we made these cards. Basically, I made them and he helped me put the dimensionals on. But it was wonderful because we were trying to, there was something going on that, I, oh, well, maybe it was the Michigan football game. Might have been January 1st. Anyway, there was something I was trying to get these all done as quickly as I could um, so I didn't miss any of the game, basically. So he was a good helper for me um, to kind of get things done quickly, right? So again, swapping though. I'm, we made 16 of this swap card. So this, you are in my thoughts, which features that softly simple designer series paper that we are going to be using in just a little bit. And then, so this was my celebration swap. And then this was my mini catalog swap. And I kind of went the easy route, but I loved. So this is some of our designer series paper that you can just cut and put on a card. I did use that um, die cut right there. Can If you guys can kind of see that made the little circles and then the stitches. I thought that was super cute. And I can't remember the names of any of these things right now, but I am going to be sharing this card. So I'll give you all the details on it. These are some of the little cork rounds, if you can see those. And then some of our like faux, it's kind of like a faux leather trim, I'm going to say. Um, but I loved this suite too. Um, and so just needed to add a little pop of color there. But so these are the two swaps that I made. I showed you the celebration cards that I received with this swap last week. And now I'm going to show you guys the mini catalog swaps that I received from making this swap card. And thank you, Philomena. I'm glad you like those cards. Okay, so my whole little bag here. I'm going to just flip through these. Now, um, yeah, I'm going to probably say, well, actually, this one must have been Celebration too, because that's the little crocodile, right? The Jungle Pals. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the Jungle. So that must have been a Celebration. So basically, I send them off, um, and I've been pulling them out to show them at card classes and things. So clearly, I didn't package them up quite right. But anyway, this is another, this is a fun swap that I received. This one is from Sandy Reese. Okay, let's see. Next we have this beautiful, so can you see that heart embossing folder, which I don't have yet, but it's beautiful, right? The just for you. Yeah, okay, because this is Sandy's also. Yeah, so she did not do two in one bunch. How about this one though? Look at, so cute, right? Love that paper and the ribbon, and we've got the cute little wish big up, up and away. Hooray, it's your birthday. This one is from Monica Giberti. So cute. I love those colors too. All right, I'm going to need a sip of water. You can, guys can check out this card for a little sec. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there we go. So I'm looking, she used some like sparkly paper over there too. How fun, right? I don't even know what that paper is. I'm gonna have to check that out. But I love, so this is all just some stamping. Looks like she used some, um, what is that called? The, oops, that's not it. <laughs> like I have one right here. The, what is this? Remember, Amy? The Wink of Stella. I think she used some Wink of Stella. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Um, maybe in just the right light right there, we can see that. Yes. Oh, and look at even the cute little bow with a little gem on there that says time for cake. This is Mary Ellen Stites made that one. Then we've got another. Oh, yeah. So here's another. Look, we've got a little birthday, two different birthday cards, right? So we've got this one that says birthday wishes. Um, and then this one was made by Kay Cogbill. Um, what else? Purples, lots of purples in, well, in this catalog, right? So this is some of the Lavender Designer Series paper with that cute little, hello, that little die cut. You can see there's a little couple of fine purple shimmer gems. Can you guys see those? That one is uh, from Mary Kate Scott. Next we have, oops, this is going to go, I think, well, let me, I'm trying to read that. It's a little bit hard to read. I guess you're not supposed to totally be able to read it, are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. But this is some of that, um, it's like a sparkly gold, kind of a gold leather trim, I'm going to say. But yeah, that looks great with that, with a little bit of, that is some ribbon that, um, gosh, that must be in our annual catalog. I was going to say, it seems like it's holiday, but maybe it carried over from the holiday catalog. But beautiful, right? Oops, that one was from Lori Kraus, Stamping in Deerland. And then this one is cute. Okay, so we're going to have to open this up. This is from Laura Barto because I think this is kind of like a fun interactive card. And so let's see. Let's check this one out and see what happens with this one. So I think it's almost like... This is die cut, yeah. And so there, so you've got a little make a wish. So it's it's perforated, like the idea is that you could pull it all the way off, uh, but I'm not gonna do that because I want you guys to be able to see, but that's pretty cute, right? We've got the make a wish. And then, oh my goodness, maybe it's, oh, it got, I was like, what's going on? But I think it just got stuck a little bit there, but look at, ooh, there's a cute fun fold, right? So yeah, it's basically just, cutting and scoring kind of opposite ways there, right? Oh my gosh, that is super cute, isn't it? Who made this one? Oh yeah, Laura did, Laura Barto. Oh my gosh, yeah, that was a lot of work on that card, Miss Laura. Okay, we've got Ascending Thanks. This one is beautiful also, featuring, um, what is that color called? Wild Wheat. I was almost gonna turn around and look at my card stock. Yes, that's actually really beautiful. I am still struggling a little bit with getting on board with this color, I'm going to say. But this designer series paper and that stamp really do a nice job of kind of showing off that wild wheat color. Miss Debbie, hello and welcome. That one is from Karen Titus. All right, let's see. Next we have I Love You No Matter What with some of the cute, I think that's um, Celebration designer series paper from Candy Rattray. Uh, next we have, this one's kind of similar to my swap card. She used those little cork. Oh, and she actually did some die cutting there and then threaded that through. That's cool too, huh? So beautiful stamping too. <laughs> Debbie, you're on board with Wild Wheat, huh? Okay, well tell me how I can use it so I can fall more in love with it. Because it's definitely, I struggle a little bit, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, but this one is, so this is Pecan Pie, so another it's not one of the in colors, but kind of one of those neutrally new colors, but that's beautiful. I love all of her stamping there too. Those, those stamp sets are fun that you can kind of create your own designer series paper with. Another beautiful, we've got another purple. So this is, I love this too. Ah, the gold tones. Okay, yes, I think that's what happened with this one that yes, I see the gold tones now when I haven't in other times. Good. Yes. Okay. That helps. That definitely helps, Debbie. Um, but yes, so this is the postage die. So you can see, and then she actually um, embossed it. So she die cut the postage die. I love that. And then use that distressed tile embossing folder also. This one is from Carrie Todd. All right. Oh, we got a fun rock and roll. Have a rock and roll birthday. So someone who is into rock and roll, right? How cute that would be. Um, this one is from Dawn Bourget. Love that. Also, we've got You're In My Thoughts Today with the beautiful little teacup. 
Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? And my favorite dies, the thoughtful expression dies right there. This one is from Nancy Thompson. And one more, another one similar, kind of using that same suite that I used, but this is a beautiful stamp, the little cork rounds, some of the designer series paper, and we've got a so sorry. This is from Sandy Carlson. So how about those cards? Lots of beautiful cards, again, all from our spring mini catalog. All right, put those back in here. Now we are gonna do our stamping. And now my toes are cold, so I have to put my slippers back on, so. <laughs> Give me one sec. Oh my goodness. This workout that I did this morning, <laughs> my back is telling me, oh boy. Um, yeah, it's funny. I went to the doctor the other day and we were talking about things. I'm like, my low back is always so sore. And he's like, well, you just have to stop working out then. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a good idea either, but <laughs> I don't know. There are definitely trade-offs, ladies. Okay, so... Let's see, we are gonna, let's do this card first. Okay, so again, we're gonna use our perennial postage stamp set. So I'm gonna put that one right there. Do I have, okay, so let me show you. I'm gonna show you the card first, then I'm gonna show you kind of where it came from. So this is a card, um, well, let me show you that right first. So we've got sending love and best wishes. Isn't that cute? I would kind of have that little cut out there. So this card I cased from my team member, Sunday Ostrander. She made, of course, with that beautiful fall designer series paper. So yes, this is from Sunday Ostrander at Sunday's Creative Stampin', one of my awesome team members. So I have to show you guys, because this card, <laughs> yeah, maybe just try a different workout. Yes, they're different. That's the crazy thing, Linda. They're different, like, she's um I go through this group fitness class and she, we've never done the same workout twice I don't think so yeah it's just probably me needing to like be more careful with my back I think um but yeah <laughs> yeah that's probably not a bad I or you know maybe change it up a little bit too right modify things um I do that some but maybe I need to do it a little bit more we'll see <laughs> uh okay so this is Sunday's card though and I absolutely loved I think it even there's something I like Sunday's card even more I think it's kind of the shimmery nest of the designer series paper that obviously there isn't any on this one um but I just I loved the layout also um <laughs> Yes, Linda, that's true. Also, things just aren't the same after 50. And then she says, LOL, you're right about that. Yes, yeah, because definitely I wasn't having these low back issues um, earlier, you know, a few years ago. So anyway, okay, well, it is what it is, right? Okay, so let's just move on to the stamping, right? So love her card, though. Again, loved this layout, loved everything about this, especially the paper. Don't, don't, if you don't have it, though, just move on because you can't get that paper anymore. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's see, we are going to, let me show you guys. Um, okay, we're going to move the host code out of the way for a little bit. And this thing. So we've got our, so this, <laughs> what do I want to show you guys this way, right? So this was, um, it kind of looks like it, but it's really, well, I guess it is, but it is, but it's not. I was going to say, we've kind of got a full sheet. <laughs> Carla, wait till you hit 60s. Oh, God. Okay. Gosh. Gosh. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Yeah. Well, it's better than the alternative, right, ladies? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So, moving on. Pool party cardstock. So, say we had an, an eight and a half by 11 piece. And why I'm saying, because this these are actually separate pieces. They're not, like, hooked together. So, you end up basically cutting off your 11 inch piece of cardstock at seven and a quarter inches. Okay, so you're gonna end up with a seven and a quarter by eight and a half inch piece. <laughs> you guys are all so funny. Philomena's like, wait till you get to your 80s. <laughs> My dad could chime in and say, wait till you get to your, or your, wait, did you say 70s? Well, I don't even know what I said. Philomena said, wait till you get to your 70s. But my dad is 80, just turned 81. So I know he would chime in and say, wait till you get to your 80s. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, but we're still here. We're still cranking along. We're still having fun, right, ladies? So that's the most important thing is what I'm going to say. Okay. So along the eight and a half inch side, you're going to cut it at four and a quarter inches. So you end up with a card base that is essential 
essentially four and a quarter by seven and a quarter inches, and then you're gonna uh, score it at five and a half inches. So this is kind of the start of your card base right here, okay? Then we have a piece, let me just show you guys these. So these pieces go on here. And the other thing I, I wanted to show you guys, I'm gonna try to use this piece of designer series paper. So these pieces all go right here. And then there is one more piece of, hi Vina, welcome, welcome. This little piece of pool party goes down there. So essentially this is five and a half also, but these are two separate pieces, okay? So I just didn't want you to be confused about that. So, right, you've got this little piece right here, and then you're gonna add these guys on and I'll give you um, sizes, measurements in just a second, then that one goes right there, okay? So let's scoot those aside. So this piece right here that goes on the bottom, this one is going to measure four and one quarter by one and three quarter, okay? So that's gonna go down there in a little bit after you put these pieces together. <laughs> Carla, the golden years are more like the rusty years. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, my God. That's too funny. Okay, pool party cardstock. Two and one quarter by four and one quarter. Uh, Lost Lagoon cardstock. This one is going to be two and one eighth by four and one eighth. And then designer series paper, two by four. So these are all just an eighth of an inch smaller than the one behind it. Okay. Um, so I think, oh yeah, and actually we have two pieces of designer series paper right here. This, again, this beautiful softly stippled designer series paper. These measure, let me make sure. Yeah, these are one and a half by four inches. Those are what are gonna go right there, okay? As always, all of the measurements, item codes, everything that you need to know, colors, all of that are gonna be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so I think what I wanna do, we're gonna do our stamping. Um, and then we'll kind of put everything together because all we need to do is stamp that little sentiment. No, actually, well, I think we'll be okay. When I made this card, I did have everything all put together, but I think we should be just fine, right? Because I just need to stamp it kind of in that little quadrant right there, I'm going to say. So I'm going to use Lost Lagoon ink because that coordinates with Lost Lagoon that's in my designer series paper and... Um, this Lost Lagoon piece that we're using right here. So the main thing, I don't want to adhere this because just in case something happens and I don't like how I stamp this, I can flip it over. But I got lucky. I did that just fine, so we are good. All right. So we're going to close that up. All right, now we might as well just put some adhesive on the back of this and get this guy on the inside of our card. Oh, and I didn't give you, this is my standard four by five and a quarter inches. It's like the inside white piece that I use about 99% of the time. Okay, next we are gonna layer up these pieces right here, okay? So we're gonna add our designer series paper. And I was just curious to try this pattern instead of, <clears throat> the other one that's on this card. So I was kind of like, um, oh, maybe I like this one better. So I thought, all right, let's just try it on Facebook Live and you guys let me know. Okay, let's see, I gotta scoot that over just a titch. This one is cut super close to <laughs> the edge. There we go. Okay, all right. Now we only want to put some adhesive on the top part of this. So we are going to Oops, 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 oops. Before we do that, we gotta put our designer series paper on these pieces too. Okay, all right. Linda likes both of them, she's saying. Yeah, well, I think the paper is just so pretty, right? Both of, both of the papers are very pretty. Okay, so this piece, oops. It's like it's sticking down a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna put that one there. And then we're gonna put this one on here. Okay, there we go, right? Okay, so now this is what I wanted. I'm gonna put this one down here and this one goes here. Yeah, the color is beautiful, isn't it? So this is all pool party, Vina. Okay, so we're gonna eh, maybe put that one. 
couldn't, I wasn't sure which one do I want um, at the top, which one do I want at the bottom. So basically I'm just trying to make sure there's enough or about the same amount on the top and the bottom, okay? And then we want it to be along this. Oh. <laughs> so then I flipped it. Okay, well, that'll work. All right, so now <laughs> I was thinking I had the adhesive up here, but then I flipped it down at the bottom, and then it stuck to the bottom piece and not the top piece, but that works all right. Okay, it'll all be just fine. Okay, there we go. All right, so same idea, right? That one's very pretty too. I like them both, I think, also, yes. All right, so now we just get to add a little bit of bling. I actually want to kind of um, clean that off a little bit, right? So we're gonna get that little buddy clean and this and this. Okay, so now we are going to, let's do our gems first. So these are the Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock Foiled Gems. And so I loved just a little bit darker, like it, I think the, so all these tones, Pool Party, um, what was this one again? Lost Lagoon and Pretty Peacock. Those tones of kind of bluey greens all work really well together. So we are going to just add a couple of, and you guys, I want to show you guys these a little bit more up close. So they've got some kind of gold sparkly tones in there too, but they are just gorgeous. So we got that one there. We got that one. We're going to do one more. And I like that little sprinkle of embellishments on there, right? And then lastly, we are going to use our Lost Lagoon ribbon. We're going to tie a pretty bow. It's funny because Sunday's card didn't even have a bow. And I made this, actually that one, right? And I was like, oh, it just needs a little something else. Hers, I think there's just enough sparkle in the designer series paper. And the, these little bit more muted tones, um, I needed a little more texture, I guess, is what it came down to. So I decided let's put a pretty bow on there. And I think that really added a little something to our card. So let me grab and get a little glue dot right here. <laughs> yes, that's so cute, Linda. Bling is king. Yes, oh, that might be my new motto too. You guys are so good with like the fun little like, um, I don't know, I'm gonna say doodads, right? The little <laughs> sing-songy. <laughs> Bling is king, yes. <laughs> I love that, Linda. It is. It definitely is. I totally agree, right? Okay, so there's our card, sending love and best wishes. And then you've got lots of room to write on the inside still. So there we go, card number one. Again, featuring the softly stippled designer series paper that you can get for free during celebration. This one, I just used the perennial postage stamp set. On the next one, we're going to have some fun. and We're going to use the stamp set and the dies. Okay, so let's scoot these out of the way. And we'll show you this next one. So I jumped ahead. Oh, quick sip of water. Um, looking at these sentiments, trying to decide which one did I want to use? Yes, great quick card. Yes, it is. Thank you, Linda. As um, Philomena said, what simple but elevated. Yes, you guys are so good. Simple but elevated. That's Philomena. That's what she had to say, which I think is totally true. And then Linda Bling is king, which is also very true. So here, there's there's bling and ribbon on this one, right? So I I was saying I jumped ahead. I wanted to use the little Happy Mother's Day. I thought it worked perfectly um, in my little, where are my dies, right? In my postage stamp dies, right? So we are going to use, let me pull this out. Well, we're going to use a couple of them. I'll show you. We are going to use this die right here for that little happy Mother's Day, okay? And then it gets better, more of the softly stippled designer series paper and this beautiful, what is this called? And you guys, oh my gosh, I totally missed this ribbon. This is like a free celebration ribbon. If you're looking at just the um, Stampin' Up! brochure, it's called Pool Party Crinkle Ribbon. So let me show you, where is that? Oh, it's down here. Okay, I gotta bend way down to pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, oh my gosh, I flipped right to it. So it's on this page right here. I just missed it. I mean, they've got these big gold circles, pool party crinkle ribbon, free with a $50 order. There it is right there. And look at a cute little treat bag. 
I love that ribbon. Oh my gosh. So I got a swap card and, and I was like, where did that ribbon? I've never seen that ribbon before. And I just totally missed it. I think I was just, I don't know, looking at the outside, looking at stamp sets and paper and the gems were a little bit hidden too, which we're going to use those. Let's see. Are those on? Yeah. The gems, these opaque faceted gems, they're right there too. So they come in Calypso, Coral, Pecan Pie, and Pool Party. Those are a little bit hidden also. Again, I didn't see those right away. I saw the paper and I saw that paper. So anyway, if you're like me and you missed it, know that it's here, right? So here are some of those gems. Okay, so here's the inside of the card, right? So we've got Happy Mother's Day. You are loved beyond measure and you mean the world to me. And then we used a couple more of the postage um, is it, what is it called? The perennial postage dies as well. So another fun fold, right? Isn't that cute? And then featuring lots of paper and ribbon and gems and lots of beautiful sentiments for a Mother's Day card. Okay, so let me show you how we're going to do this one. Um, actually, let's figure out which are the dies here too. So I don't struggle with that later, right? Okay, so there's that one. And that one so then you kind of see right so we're going to use those two on the inside and that one on the outside bernice hello and welcome but these are beautiful love these postage dies so much fun to play with those okay let me get my stamps my ink well i should probably pull out the cardstock too so we can talk about measurements okay Let's do that also. Okay, so we are going to start, let's just start with the bottom, the base. Calypso Coral, this is our card base that measures five and a half by four and a quarter, okay? Then we're gonna use our softly stippled designer series paper. I love that linen look also, beautiful. And the roses, gorgeous, huh? Five and a quarter by four inches. That's gonna fit right on there, okay? Then we have a piece of... Uh, white cardstock that measures nine and three quarters by four and one quarter. And then along the nine and three quarter inch side, we scored it at three and one quarter and six and a half. So that's going to go down, that's going to go down, and that's going to go down. And then that's going to lay on top of there like that. Okay. Next, we have two pieces of designer series paper. One goes there and one goes there. Okay. So we've got Again, softly stippled designer series paper, two pieces that measure four by three inches, okay? And then I just have some basic white and Calypso coral pieces to do our stamping and die cutting. So just some scrap pieces of paper, okay? So let's do, we're gonna stamp our Happy Mother's Day and You Mean the World to Me, and then we'll do these things as well on the inside of that. Um. Okay, yep. And that's just a, oh, and then actually this little, this is just a square right here that measures two by two. So that's, you're just going to layer your little postage stamp right on top of that one. Okay. All right. So let's do, we're going to do this one first on the inside of our card. So we've got this one. You are loved beyond measure. So we're going to do a nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I'm actually going to lay this out flat. Okay, I'm trying to make sure it's not upside down. Because this is one, if you flip it over, um, you'll be able to see it in the back, basically. Okay, so we're going to set that one aside. We'll come back and do the flower in just a sec. Let's do these. All right, so we've got our... Happy Mother's Day. Love, love, love that too, right? And we've got You Mean the World to Me. So it's the font again, right? Happy Mother's Day. You Mean the World to Me. Love those fonts. Okay, so Calypso Coral Ink. We're using that because it matches our Calypso Coral cardstock and designer series paper. And then we're using Pebbled Path Ink because that's the other color right there on the designer series paper. Okay, and I loved this little flower. I'll show you where, oops, that's actually over here, isn't it? We're gonna stamp right 
there, that pretty little flower. And that is from the Notes of Nature stamp set. This is part of the suite that I used for my swap. I loved this suite. So, and this is also the one that I showed you with the card where she kind of made her own designer series paper with the stamps. I, I just love, there's something kind of about that little vintage. And it's funny because generally I'm not like a vintagey look kind of person, but there's something about these with the little, I don't know, it's a little weathered, worn. I just really, that appeals to me somehow also. Okay, so I think we are good. Put our stamps away. Okay. All right. We can do our die cutting and yes. Okay, so we got that stamping done. All right, let's clean just so I don't get ink on anything else I don't want it on, right? We're going to clean these things off. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so stamps are all clean so we don't get ink on places we don't need it, right? All right, I'm going to grab my die cutting machine and we will get these pieces cut and put our beautiful Mother's Day card together. And obviously you can, you could make it as a birthday card. Oops, there we go. That's the bottom one. You can see that has been well loved. Cut your paper and then you end up with two pieces of paper that you can move where you need to. But I think we're doing all right there. Okay. All right, we're gonna get these cranked through and you check out the fun postage stamp look. I just think it's so cute. Love that, huh? Right? And then this one layers and this one. All right, let's just get these guys scooted out of the way. There, okay. So how about those too, right? Aren't those cool? Yeah, so fun. Where's the other? Oh my gosh. I, you guys, I feel like I'm going crazy today. <laughs> I guess maybe I am, right? I'm, like I said, I'm just so excited about Girls Craft O Rama, ladies, and Snack O Rama. I might be as, as excited about Snack O Rama as Craft O Rama. <laughs> um, let's see. Now that makes me think. Um, Jennifer, when we went to her house, I got to show you guys because I think this is so cute. She made these cute little tags for us, our little name tags. It says Craft Orama 2021. And it actually kind of, ooh, that's really pretty like that, right? <laughs> but I love that. I'm like, oh, she's so creative. Always comes up with the cutest little projects. Made us sweatshirts too last time. I'm going to put that on later. Very excited. I think I think it's kind of an ode to um, Taylor Swift because it says something about in our crafting era, <laughs> which we have been in for a good long while. All right. I'm just like, I'm just putting stuff together as we're, as I'm chit-chatting about things. So we're going to put this piece of designer series paper here. And then we're going to put this one is going to go down there. Now we're going to attach. So this is going to go on there. So we need to put adhesive, kind of run it all over this one. And this happens to me all the time where it kind of comes apart. So I just press down on it and put it back together. I don't know if it's just, if it's me and the way I run my seal, but I've been noticing that it's like a little bit loose there. Okay. So just make sure that looks straight. Okay. There, isn't that so cute how that lifts up like that, right? Okay, so let's bring this one back into view so you guys can see. So we are going to add some adhesive to our Happy Mother's Day. That one right there. And I need some dimensionals. Oh, I do, which actually this is going to work out well. I've got, you guys use the edges of your dimensionals. I can't throw them away. It's like the recycle girl in me, but this is great because I want... I'm gonna put them on the top and the bottom and then the ribbon is gonna run right through kind of the middle. So that's gonna work out really well for that one. Okay, we'll come back to that in just a sec though. We're gonna put our sentiment on the inside of our card. Okay, this one and this one right here and here. Okay, we're going, we're gonna pop this one right inside here. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. I'm glad you enjoyed that. You know what I forgot to mention? She says she loves the fold. I forgot to mention this was 
um, one of our make and takes that we made um, last week at our team meeting. So I didn't come up with this idea and I feel like I've used it one or two times before, but this was where I got the idea from was our cute little cow card, our little make and take. Oh, and this, here's my example, right? Where I <laughs> stamp my cow wrong. And then this is the blends um, bleeding through also. So yeah, you know, that's all right. Just don't look back there. Okay. Um, oh, the puppies are stormy. Uh oh. Yep. Somebody's walking by. He's got to protect the land. <laughs> My goodness. I can't believe anybody's out walking. It, well, I don't know. People are probably tired of being cooped up in their house at this point. So this ribbon, you guys, oh my gosh, I love. It's so soft and crinkly and fun. And just, um, I mean, it will flatten down, I'm sure, you know, if you're going to mail this card. Um, but I love kind of all of the poof and texture that it gives to your project too. Like I kind of really loved that also. Um, so if you're worried though, I think honestly it will flatten right down there. Okay, so we just have to futz with this a bit. I probably don't ever really, do I show this very well? How do you make a bow? I'm definitely like, I'm always kind of pulling and pulling and pushing, I say, to get my bow ends where I want them. Um, so it can be a little bit of a process, right? Okay, so we're going to trim that right there. So this is what I was saying was I've got my ribbon and I don't like when my dimensional stick to the ribbon. So this is going to go right over top. You can see those are going to fit right over top of there. Just right. Okay. All right. So we're going to put this one. A little happy Mother's Day. We're going to do that right about there. Get our pretty little bow. Love. You guys, I, there's something about that ribbon. I'm having so much fun with it. Okay, and then we have, again, these are the opaque faceted gems. Free during celebration with a $50 order. Also ribbon free with a $50 order. So many cute things to choose from, ladies. Okay, now we are going to kind of add our little gems. So, and this did not bother me. I think in my older age, um, because this is pecan pie, so it's not exactly the same as pebble. Oops. <laughs> That doesn't bother me either. <laughs> anyway, shades of brown basically is what we're looking at. So they don't totally, but it's not it's not offensive to me that these browns aren't quite the same, right? And then we're gonna use a little Calypso Coral. Use a little Calypso Coral one right there. We can see that one. And then very front of the card, we are going to add, we're gonna put one here. And we're going to do one, maybe right there. And then we're going to do one big pool party one. So again, the pool party ribbon and gems coordinate together. All right. I'm seeing some. <laughs> oh, have to run. Got to get ready for work. I totally understand, Miss Linda. Thanks for joining us. So yeah, ladies, hopefully you enjoyed both of these fun cards, the beautiful designer series paper, right? Is that? So one thing I'll do is kind of just like, if I crease this down using my fingernail, that kind of helps hold it down a little bit more, right? Okay. So where is, we'll do our quick little recap. Don't forget, ladies, where's the other card? Oh, I'm like, okay, yeah, oh, I put, oh, I put it back in my, in my little bin here. Okay, so projects that we made today, right? You're going to get both of them, both of these projects, when you order online through me using host code 9BKPPRDT. Thank you from me right here. You're going to get your name in the drawing to win the heartfelt hexagon stamp set. And you get to pick from the demo design dream team PDF tutorial or the purple gems, which are free embellishment for the month. So thank you guys so very much for watching. Um, don't forget I think I am. So we're not going to do like a regular Facebook Live next Friday. We're going to do a paper pumpkin making Facebook Live. Um, as, you know what? Actually, as I'm saying that, I can't do that. I was thinking um, I was going to be back at Mike's house, but we are spending the night downtown. <laughs> 
See, this is why the things that come to you in the shower, you really need to think through a little bit more. Okay, so that was kind of a tease, but we are. We're going to do that at some point. Maybe I won't do it Friday. Maybe I'll do it another day. Watch for a post. How about that? And I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, I'm like, we're spending the night downtown. I'm not going to be home to do a Facebook Live. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's, do you guys do that? That's like how many days away, right? I'm yeah, my brain is not wrapped around what's happening next weekend yet. Clearly. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. Anyway, we'll be back here two weeks from today. Facebook Live right here. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for joining and hope you enjoyed these cards. Bye, everybody.